we've reached the point where it's getting really hard for me to film but basically it's all moss lined rocks and I've got this glide cam that I've got to try and keep steady as well so I don't know. See all these trees it's getting down there, they're the big turpentines. This place is amazing. Inspiration um, comes in the most unusual places. I always find that when you set out in a project and say, I want to put myself in this environment, I want to block out everything else that's going on and Facebook and everything else and the, the distractions, it's very hard to pick what's going to actually inspire you. It could be the smallest thing, but I find that it's all about being immersed in that environment for an extended period of time. So it's an awesome day and we're heading up to the office now to meet up with Jochen who's going to be our tour guide. Uh, we're going on a big trek uh, down to the creek. We're going to check out some of these ginormous trees. Um, I'm all loaded up, so let's go. Alright, just uh, I'm exhausted already and this is just a little trek to the uh, head office. So I'm here with Jochen, he's going to be our tour guide for today and we're going to head down to the creek for waterfall? Yeah, down to a waterfall in the rainforest. Yeah, awesome. Really beautiful. Alright, so we're going to go on a trek. Let's go guys. See all these trees, it's getting down there, they're the big turpentines. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, just picking out the top of those. So aside from the drawing element and painting and the creating the art element, I wanted to make this project more of an adventure. Over the last couple of years, I've developed a love for traveling. And I think that it's, you learn so much just from all the unexpected things that happen in a completely new environment. You know, and I want to embrace that. Yeah. trees and they're originally logged um, because the, the wood is actually water resistant yeah so they use them uh, for piers in wharves because the wood will not rot when it's in the water It's all moss-lined rocks, and I've got this glide cam that I've got to try and keep steady as well, so I don't know um, how well that's going to come through on camera. So what's the dangle of the dangle? See how it's like. Alright, so that, that's, that's vertical, that's horizontal, that's, uh, that's horizontal there. And that's the grade of the slope like that now, so it's, it's a... Yeah, alright, anyway. You can do it! Alright, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tackle this now. Um, like right on the edge of this little thing. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Made it. So 
So we're pretty much here, James. Yeah. Well, you're second time here. What do you think? Okay, so we've arrived down at the waterfall and this place is amazing. It's a bit cooler down here, which is good. And that trek was a little bit hardcore with the slopes and whatnot, but I've made it alive, which is good. And now it's all about getting inspired with my sketchbook, my pen, and this surreal environment. One thing I just saw, which is pretty awesome, if you actually look at the shape of that ginormous log there, it looks like a rhino. And I'm going to include black rhino in this drawing because they're critically endangered, so there's like hardly any left. So I was looking at that, and it's given me ideas of how I could potentially illustrate the black the black rhino but then have it sort of mold into the tree or something like that, which would be really cool. So I'm gonna play around with that idea. I'm a little sad I have to leave this place now because it's so beautiful. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought that was a vibe. There's nothing to hold on to. So now we're just making our way, our way back along the trail, back towards the car. Um, and we're making that like it's a big deal, but um, Yoko and our guide basically just ran back there to get his camera and camera gear and, and, and stuff, and it didn't, wasn't that big of a deal. but. Yeah, we're city slicker. We have to slide here. We're almost there. Bit of quick there. Yeah, I know. Woo! We're here. We've made it. What a mission. We made it alive. Up the top. Thank God. Now we're gonna get back up that crazy hill that's like. So we're back at the cave, um, that was incredible. It was exhausting trying to get up and down those hills, but definitely worth it. Once you get right, right down there, it's dark, it's completely different colors, um, it's, it's breathtaking. So now it's to catalog and figure out all the ideas that I've got and put down into paper in the cave. <laughs>